Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Nurse Catherine here. In today's video, I will be reviewing these Bala sneakers that I have been wearing for the last 30 days at my work. Before we get started, do not forget to subscribe right now and give this video a big thumbs up. But other than that, let's get this video started. So before we actually get into how the shoe felt on my foot, let's talk a little about Bala and why this company exists. So under the about Bala, it says the name Bala is derived from a nurse's ability to find balance in all that they do between softness and grit, work and sleep, self-care and patient care. We design our 12s to help you strike that balance. So these shoes were designed for nurses specifically, which really intrigued me like, okay, what is so different between these Balas and the Nike shoes that I used to wear or the Reeboks or Adidas shoes that I used to wear? So I was really interested in this shoe. Um, and then they also talk about how they use woman foot morphology to design their shoe rather than a men's foot morphology, which most shoes, I guess, are created from, and then they just shrink down the size to fit a woman's size foot. So they actually use women's foot morphology rather than a man's. And then also one thing that I was really interested in was insoles. I have always had to buy Dr. Scholl's insoles for all the sneakers that I have worn and no insole has ever been a good insole for my sneakers at work. But in Bala's, you can take out the insole if you want to, if you have orthotics. But once I get into my review, I didn't need to do that and you'll find out why. And lastly, another big point where a lot of nurses want their shoe to be this is, is the shoe waterproof. And Bala's are waterproof. And this is what it looks like. This is the bottom the side so I wore these for 30 days at work all of March I wore these and I really enjoyed wearing these there were a few downfalls of this shoe and I will get into that but there were a lot of great things and positive things I can say about this shoe so first let's talk about the positive things the insoles of these shoes are absolutely amazing I have never felt an insole that was actually made with the shoe like this. So this is the insole. Sorry, my you can see my toes. So as you can see, that is the insole that is in it. It is pretty thin, but it has this piece right here. And this right here, there we go, was what was so helpful with this shoe. This arch support in this shoe is not even comparable to the Dr. Scholl's. This is so much better than the Dr. Scholl's insoles that I have always worn in every single one of my nursing shoes. And at the end of the day, my feet would still hurt. And I was like, oh man, my arches hurt, my foot hurt. But my feet do not hurt at the end of the day wearing these sneakers. And I think a big part of that is to do to the insoles and just the arch support. It's Arch M Brace, is that is what it's called, Arch M Brace. And I just have absolutely loved this insole. I didn't have to go spend $30 and buy Dr. Scholl's insoles, which was really nice. Okay, the second positive thing I can say about the Bala shoe is that it has this little snap piece right here. And that is to help your shoelaces stay in place instead of coming untied. So all you do have to do is put that down and snap it. Obviously they are waterproof, like I said. So that is a huge plus as well, because when you are running around, 
especially bedside nursing, and you are stepping in who knows what, and you're in who knows what kind of situations, and fluids are flying everywhere, you definitely want a waterproof shoe. So that was another huge plus. Next, let's talk about the grip of these shoes. A lot of places want you to have non-slip grip shoes, but I don't know if these actually qualify as non-slip grip, but they have a very nice sole to them. You can see mine are quite dirty already, but um, the sole to them is nice and thick. It's not breaking down like my Reeboks were, and the grip of them is really nice. I did not find myself slipping at all. I'm also not working bedside right now, so I don't have as much fluids all over the ground um, as I used to at one point at work, but I haven't found myself having any problems with the grips on these sneakers. Okay, and lastly, let's talk about the negatives or the downfalls of this shoe. The first thing I want to talk about is the sizing. So make sure you are reading the website if you are going to order these shoes about the size and what size you should get. I normally wear an eight in all shoes and that's always what I wear. I never really have to go down to a 7.5 or an 8.5. I'm pretty much always strictly an eight. But these I did have to go down in size and these are a seven and a half. And I initially ordered an eight, but they were too big. You could tell when I was bending that they weren't bending at the right spot on my foot. So make sure you are paying attention to the sizing and what do they recommend? Because it is of course disappointing when you order a shoe and then it is the wrong size. So I did ha get a seven and a half then from the company and they fit wonderful now. Secondly, which is a question my sister had asked after posting my first video, is that do they offer wide sizes? And they do not at this point. They say we don't offer wide sizes at this time, but we'd love to hear from you if you'd like us to offer wide 12s in the future. We're always gauging interest for product innovations. So I did actually get to Zoom with some of the company members and we talked about that and we talked about pretty much exactly what's on the website. Okay, and the last downfall of this shoe that I find is this mesh or knit insert. I've always been skeptical of these inserts in shoes and if it's going to rub against my skin or what's gonna be happening. So I wear short socks with my sneakers. I don't wear socks that you can see. They're more like anklet type of socks. So my sock doesn't come up to this level. It actually is lower than this level. But let me show you what happened because this started rubbing against the top of my foot and actually left a little bit of a mark. So let me show you what that looks like. So this is the mark that it left on my ankle right here. That's from CrossFit. But right here, this brown piece on my ankle, that's what happened. It's kind of dry now. It almost feels like a little bit of an abrasion. It never turned red. It was always this dark color. So that's what happened there, but it never happened on this ankle. So it was only my right foot that it happened to. And that's why I've always been a little skeptical of these sneakers that have this lining. Now, I personally will continue to wear these balas because I absolutely think they are so comfortable and my feet don't hurt after work, after working Monday through Friday at our shifts. And I do not sit down a lot at my work. On some days I'm normally standing from about seven to 12 and I sit down occasionally in that time. But a lot of the time I'm walking around the clinic and it's pretty comparable to the amount of time that I spent on my feet in the emergency room. So I will, continue to wear these. I really like these shoes. I do recommend these shoes and um, I'm very excited to try other shoes out. I now will be wearing Dance Goes for 30 days and I will be doing a 30 day review on those as well. And after the Dance Goes, I will be wearing Cloves, which I just got in the mail, which is another nursing sneaker. So I will be wearing those for 30 days and doing another 30 day review on that sneaker. So all in all, I really enjoyed wearing my balas and I definitely recommend these. 
If you guys have any shoes that you recommend wearing or any shoes that you would want me to review, comment below and I will see if I can get my hands on a pair. But other than that, that is it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel.